I call this picture as about mothers. The lady is pregnant. This lady. Hmm? She is tending to the cow. She is milking the cow. The cow is looking after its calf. Hmm? It's about mothers. Right? This is one of my favorite scenes always in, in that particular village. Hmm? Notice that the woman who is tending the buffalo, she is bringing back the buffalo from grazing. Look at her body language, firm, upright, you know, confident, no fear. The buffalo is getting increasingly agitated, it's pawing the ground because it sees one little aggressor here waiting for it, the dog. Every day they go through this charade. As she brings the buffalo through that path, the dog is waiting to harass the buffalo. Hmm? Then as they come closer, the dog will start barking, the buffalo starts getting agitated and pawing the ground. The woman will pick up an imaginary stone and throw it at the, uh, at the dog. The dog will yelp as if he's been hurt, which he's not. And next day they will all go through the same scene again. Okay, it's, it's like everybody feels this is mandatory, I have to do it. Hmm? This, I just, very honestly, I took this picture first, first and foremost, I took this picture because that nose ring was so beautiful. Isn't her nose ring beautiful? Yeah. Hmm? That was the first thing. That, but then, when I, I thought, what a beautiful nose ring. And you know, the silver hair, white dress, silver hair, silver jadu, and uh, silver nose ring. And then I noticed that the way she was bent and cleaning, it's like she's holding up the roof on her back. You know? Like she's taking the weight of the roof. Figuratively, she does actually take the weight of the roof of her home. Here it looked almost literal. This is the weakest, most defenseless category of citizens in India. This is a, a Dalit woman in Rajasthan. Her name is Patasi Bai. She's carrying human excreta on her head. The manual, so-called manual scavengers are all mostly women. Just like we say man days, but most of the work is done by women. This Patasi Bai will get for cleaning up the shit in people's homes, in dry latrines, in those days, between 98 and 2000, she would get one roti a day per household and five rupees a month per household, whose latrines she was keeping clean. And it's, it's a demeaning, humiliating, dignity-breaking imposition that the caste system and our caste societies make on human beings. But there's nearly, maybe there's more than a million Patasibais in the country who actually do this work. Mm 